Hey everybody, it's Paul Grossman, the Dark Arts Wizard, and today I'm going to be looking at the AI capabilities of Test Rigger and how it can identify elements even if there's no element in the DOM with optical character recognition. And we're going to do that with Flutter today. We got a Flutter sample and we've got, yeah, some buttons over here we could click by just naming them, some links. But what we really want to do is verify that we actually get Flutter game template over here. We will use expect to open up Chrome Developer Tools. Hit Control F for find and type in Flutter, F-U-T-T-R. Now we're going to find quite a few of those, eight of those over there. But I want Flutter game on there. You'll notice down here, there's no matches for Flutter game. So this object can't be identified by the text Flutter game. And then I'll click the next button and see if I can locate this level text here and say, I'm just want to look for level uh, number two. And guess what? Again, there is nothing here showing me that there is any text on that page called level two. So how are we going to validate that? Well, let's go over to test rigger and create ourselves a brand new test like this. Sound good. There's some AI stuff that it can now do, but that's going to be a video for another day. So what we're going to do is create a brand new test and tell it just to check the page contains flutter game using optical character recognition. So this is an OCR test of flutter and game level. Then I click add and run and let test rigger run the test case. All right, we have a pass. Let's take a look. We navigated to the landing page and we just verified that the page text game contains Flutter game using OCR only. But remember, we want to go a little farther than that. So let's go back. Now, the next thing we need to do is to move to the next page. The, the way we do that is we're going to go click on this button. Now, that could be next or back but it is actually got uh the word right inside of it and i bet you if we had one that's on the left and we go and hit on it i bet you it says left in there and boy to put together that css or that xpath well it might be a little challenging but what if we didn't need to do that at all let's go back over to test rigger i'm going to go and do a real quick edit and i'm going to go and say click right couldn't be that easy and then hit the check the page contains level two we're using OCR only I'm gonna update and retest that and see where it goes well we've completed our test let's take a closer look at what happened uh, we found this text here even though there was no text in the DOM and we also found that advanced button using just plain English we went over to the right and it's a little hard to see. I'll zoom in. You can see that level two is actually identified. And remember, that's an image. That is not some span or div object that we are looking to validate exists within inside the DOM. I hope you had fun watching this quick little demo of test rigger and showing how it can identify elements and objects, even if you don't have it existing in the DOM. I'm Paul Grossman, the Dark Arts Wizard on all major social media websites. I hope you have yourself a great day.